luck is coming my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way and early standing outside Deja Vu waiting for our 9.30 a.m. tour of St. Louis Cemetery number one to start. You're looking beautiful, Jessica, as always. New Orleans is the perfect fit for you. Well, the gorgeous history side of it, not like the... Hey, New Orleans is kind of dirty. It's really dirty. All right, so here's an interesting tidbit of information that you need to know if you're coming to visit New Orleans. You can't get into St. Louis Cemetery number one by yourself anymore. After Katrina, the Archdiocese or whatever religious organization said in order to get into this historic cemetery, you need to take a tour. You ready for this, Jessica? We get to see the infamous tomb of voodoo priestess Marie Laveau, as well as hopefully Nicolas Cage's weird pyramid. I heard about his pyramid. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that, actually. Sad we can't film in it, but we're gonna be taking a whole bunch of pictures, but that's the cemetery right there behind that wall. So I'm gonna have to turn off the camera here in just a minute, but picture time begins now. So 
we just got done with our tour of St. Louis Cemetery number one. Start off by saying we took the free tours by foot, which is basically $2 to take the tour, and then you pay whatever you want in tips afterwards, whatever you think the tour is worth. Some tours here into the cemetery are like 20, 30 bucks. There's a few things that I was very, very unhappy with. And if I would've spent 30 bucks on this tour, I would've been really pissed off. One, as ex-tour guides in Savannah, Georgia, there's Watch an un- kids. Yeah. Well, the, the kids is okay. I mean, it's yeah. in the middle of the day. It's not a ghost tour. It's more yes, of like I a am. historical tour. But as ex-tour guides, you don't ap approach or jump on somebody else's tour. What I mean by that, St. Louis Cemetery number one is very small. It's like smaller than a one block radius. It's tight. Yeah. It's and tight. there had to have been maybe five or six tours going on at the same exact time. Who did not care if they all congened into one area. Right. So you have people stepping on top of people, stepping on top of people, stepping on top of people. You know, you're there with your tour guide, they're telling a story. They say, okay, go ahead, take pictures. And as you're taking pictures, the other tour guide steps in front of your pictures. And it's like, dude, what are you doing? I mean, maybe it doesn't matter to most people. they're talking over each other. Yeah, well, that's one thing that sells is that people want to take photographs of this place. Right. They want to document being there. And, um, you know, our tour guide was saying, you know, take your pictures and if you don't get to get a shot, let us know and I'll make sure it happens. And they didn't. Nope. Nobody did. Yeah. Nobody really She was much. gone before that, mm -hmm. which, you know, I was... And they yell at you to keep up with your tour when it's impossible when you're going, okay, now I'm in a sea of 50 people. Where's my tour guide? Right. They don't we have lost flags, her they don't have markers. many times. Yeah. I found it kind of comical that in order to get in, you you have to go through security, you have to pay to get in. They take very good care of the restoring the tombs themselves. Like they re, I don't want to say they reline them, they almost like replaster them in Stucco. certain ways. So all that white that you see when you see pictures and art pictures of St. Louis Cemetery number one, mm -hmm. that's not how the cemetery really looks. That's the restoration process right. of it. With that being said, there was so much trash on the floor. Yeah, that's like, kind of unfortunate. I mean, if they're taking that care of it for the past couple of years, since 2015, 16, like, go through and pick up the sandwich baggies. Cup lids. Yeah. Cups. Like, old stickers and stuff yeah. like that. I Everyone's mean, tour guide stickers. Cause you weren't, they give you a little sticker. I took mine off already, but I took it off when I, when yeah. I got outside the cemetery, but. Do not pay $25, $30 to get into mm -hmm. that cemetery. It's not worth it because you might be there with five or six other people who chose to pay 20, 30 bucks. And the t people who are paying like $2 just to get in there and it's a tour group of 20, you're all mixed in there together. You do not have exclusive tours when More you time. do that. I don't care what they tell you. But one of your favorite things to do at Disney in Port Orleans is to get pumpkin beignets during this time of year. Now you're in New Orleans. Yeah, they're not going to have pumpkin spice beignets here in New Orleans, but there's the one bucket list thing we haven't done yet, and that is go get beignets. Cafe du Monde. Cafe du Monde. Let's go. You can come here to Cafe du Monde and sit, but we're gonna get ours to eat. But these beignets must be good because look at all of these people. They're everywhere. This place is packed. So we made it down here to Cafe du Monde and they only serve beignets as a source of food. But you can get all manners of coffee and soda though, and I'm really excited. We just placed our order and I can't wait. So I don't know how well you can see this, but they have little lapel pins that you can buy. They're available in three colors, but I got yellow because it's the most visible and it matches my nails today. I'm gonna put this on. Look at this. Look at these beignets. This looks delicious. Um, yeah, I'm excited. If you eat beignets and you walk away not covered in powdered sugar, then you're a witch. Wait. Yeah, I won't be clean. <laughs> I 
jokingly said that I was going to put more sugar because they put this giant thing of sugar here so you put it on your beignets. But look at this. It is like a sugar castle. So we just had our probably what is going to be our last meal at here in New Orleans today. It's at Cafe Du Monde. What did you finally think of having beignets in New Orleans? It's very fitting that we ate here last because that was a giant dessert. Um, three massive beignets, as you've seen, and uh, Vo was our waitress, and she was so sweet, and she was so tiny. So it was almost like getting fed at my grandmother's table. You know, it's very busy there. Um, the seating is stacked, but you know, it's one-on-one -on -one service and oh, she was just so precious. Hi, if you're watching, we loved you. Looks like we found a blood red wall, a black door, and my God, it's here. Boutique du Vampire. And how fitting for today, there is a coffin that you can climb into. Perfect. Right here, perched above everything else, it says caution, vampire danger zone from dusk till dawn daily. These are pretty amazing. They are coffin candles and inside there's a skeleton. So as the candle melts, he appears. And something you can only get here are these stained glass lips with fangs and crystal blood drops. That is cool. And they have them hidden throughout the store. There's some red ones there. Green fangs on that shelf. And up here on the top, there's red and black. You can also get museum quality shrunken heads here. And if you wanted a demonic, twisted, looking creepy baby doll this is your place just look at her vampire rubber duckies and a picture of lily munster it's a beautiful little shop i like it here oh these are so cute these are actual film cells from the movies but they're on little uh votives oh and they have strips too. Oh, look, they have interviewed the vampire. Oh, I can't see what this is. Oh, that's the stat. Oh, that is so cool. I'm gonna have to get some of these. We've had a lot of people tell us about this bar, the dungeon. Let's check it out. It's hidden very well in between two different doors. It's just funny because the doors is playing as I'm walking through here. But it's a spooky place. Oh. My. God. Hey, baby girl. Welcome to the dungeon. There's gargoyles. Not really sure what to call that, but it's creepy. It's Pan. It's Pan? Oh yeah, that's right, it's Pan. There's a little waiting bench here that looks like it's a stretching rack. You'd lay in there, they'd tie you up here, and they would just pull it. Jessica also says it kind of looks like something that they would put your intestines on, and then they would keep twirling it, and twirling it, and twirling it, and twirling it, until your intestines were completely outside of your body. That is absolutely beautiful. You see almost this exact shot on a lot of different postcards here for New Orleans. Crazy. Can't believe I'm finally standing here.